Someone asks, what are your thoughts, Gil, on grapefruit seed extracts to help lower uh, high hematocrit? We have a whole video on hematocrit and we do mention this in there. Look, look at the, the, the upside, okay? The upside is unless you're taking certain statins or other medications that are contraindicated with the uh, grapefruit, and there are some, so you do have to look into that. If you, it's not contraindicated for you, then there's really no harm in taking it as an over-the-counter supplement you could buy on Amazon or most vitamin shops. The thought of lowering hematocrit, and again, if you watch our hematocrit video, you're gonna notice that hematocrit is extremely transient. It changes several times throughout the day, and it is nothing more than a hydration ratio. It is a ratio of hemoglobin or formed elements in the blood, red blood cells, uh, in comparison to your total blood volume. So if you increase the volume of plasma via hydration, you're essentially going to lower your hematocrit. So you always wanna look at that first prior to taking any sort of supplemental or medical intervention. And consider that that is always gonna be your first option. If you increase your aerobic activity level, okay? Low intensity steady state aerobic activity on a regular basis is going to also help with increasing oxygenation and therefore inhibiting erythropoiesis, which is the process of the body producing more red blood cells to compensate for hypoxia. So if you're well-conditioned, your sleep and nutrition is proper, you do not suffer from sleep apnea, you're not a smoker, and you're well hydrated, generally hematocrit is not gonna be an issue. So prior to medicating or taking other interventions, even if they're non-pharmacological, make sure that you are approaching every other option from a lifestyle perspective.